Unit 1 Context and Relevance Unit 1 is divided into three sections. Section 1 Context of Chapter 1 This illustration serves as a guide throughout the different course chapters and describes the context of each chapter. The illustration will be explained in Unit 5 of this chapter. Based on this graphic, it will be shown how every chapter is embedded within the course structure. This course offers a comprehensive introduction to academic research and writing for recipients with different levels of previous knowledge about the subject and its various implications. Before delving into any specifics in the following chapters, four key questions need to be addressed. First, what are practical examples of academic research and writing? Second, what are major terms used in the context of academic research? Third, what is the philosophical nature of academic research and writing? Fourth, what forms part of a course on academic research and writing? Section 2. Relevance of Chapter 1. In the previous section, basic questions with respect to academic research and writing have been asked. Accordingly, by answering these questions, the context of this chapter is to develop an understanding of academic research and writing and to introduce characteristics of academic research and writing. Why is it relevant to acquaint oneself with the foundations of academic research and writing? This chapter provides a terminological framework for the subsequent chapters of this course. Furthermore, it helps to localize the chapters within the structural design of the course. Section 3. Learning Objectives of Chapter 1 What are the learning objectives of this chapter? After this chapter, you should have an understanding how academic research and writing manifests itself in an academic setting as well as in a professional setting. Furthermore, you should be able to differentiate between key terms in the context of academic research and writing. Additionally, you should comprehend the ontological and epistemic implications of academic research and writing. Finally, you should acquaint yourself with the course structure and the corresponding syllabus.